Hi, I'm Patrick. And I'm Liv. And this is the Maki Vlog. Today we're at a solar energy conference in Boulder, Colorado, showing off the Mustang Maki. Let's get started. So the theme is empowering a sustainable future. It couldn't be more perfect to have the Maki here. Patrick uh, got invited to be here and we were able to take the day off. It feels pretty amazing. This is an awesome campus. So I can't wait to see what the turnout is like and what people think of the Maki. Yeah, and I didn't actually get invited. I saw a post on the Denver Electric Vehicle Council uh, Facebook page and responded to it. They had a Tesla ready to go for display and they were looking for other non Teslas just to balance it out. So there's a Tesla here, a Model X and us today and tomorrow. I think they're going to have a Nissan Leaf and a Tesla. So very cool. Very good to, that they're looking for that diversity in the EV marketplace to show off. I'm Liv. I am Patty. Nice yeah. to meet oh, you, Patty. Patty, with the Patty name. very nice I to meet you. I put on my uh, name tag. Didn't get that far. And you are uh, part of Solar Cookers International. Well, I used to be on the board. Uh, now I'm kind of a retired board member, but I'm representing them, I guess. That's awesome. But unfortunately, we don't have the sun to cook any cookies. Right. But um, you're actually giving away solar ovens right Some now. Some homemade ones. Yeah. That's awesome. And then there's three that they're going to auction off tonight. Oh, inside. cool. Inside, they're supposedly going to bring them out to show here. But there's more storage under that part. Oh, wow. There's a lot of storage. Yeah. Um, and then storage in the front, which I assume yours has storage in the front. Yeah, too. we have a we have a front. Uh, let's see the size this one, of that that is. I did vacuum this thing, but I ah. forgot the frunk, so it's all full of sand oh, from camping. Oh, no. it shows it's well left. Yeah, that's a really nice size. Ours is similar, but I think yours is bigger for sure. So this is like a fabric-y? A what? Sort of fabric. a fabric -y Yeah, size? that's a fabric of some sort. Oh, yeah. No, that's a really nice size. Yeah, um, ours is interesting because it has a plug, so you can pull it up with that. Oh, cool. Let me set yeah. this down. Let's see. Right under there. There's that little plug. Um, so it drains. drains. Oh, okay. Drain, not a plug. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And cup holders and stuff. So it's a little tailgate-ish. Oh, yeah. Got it. Over here. And it'll show you, uh, and it's like car, the, the car is also, it's not doing anything now, but it's. Hey. <laughs> How do you like it? I like it. Nice car. Cool. Thank you. And I just need to drive it. <laughs> I know. Get, get on out of here. <laughs> so around town, I get about 320 miles of range. And then on the road, I get 
maybe 250. You think, should we go for a ride? Yes, I'm <laughs> have to. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe it's more of a must. <laughs> so, Baraka, you're from Detroit? I, I'm from Detroit. You didn't know I was filming, did you? <laughs> oh, you're filming. I thought you were taking a picture. I know, I do that. Oh, I'm very sneaky. You tricked me. <laughs> yeah, but I'm from Detroit here in Colorado for the first time. And it's funny, in Colorado, first time inside of an electric Mustang truck here. So. Woo, love it. What awesome. do you think? Awesome. So awesome. Very comfortable. <laughs> well, head on out then. Right? I know, right? Yeah. They're raffling off those solar ovens, so it, this should be a Maki here. <laughs> yeah. So, what you're doing in the car can, can really affect the range. So, like if you drive at 80 miles an hour, your range goes a lot quicker than if you drive at 65. So you can you can sort of even if you have brain anxiety when you're at a stoplight, yeah. I um, mean you need to just take off, and it's not like like this morning because uh, you know how uh, like on I twenty five there's some of those where it's uh, they have the, the metering lights and then like it turns green and like one car goes. Oh yeah, yeah. So it was like it was like two of us side by side. <laughs> And it's just, you, you hear the car next to us like, they were really just, upset about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I heard these are really torquey and yeah. like, yeah, really cool. Yeah. What's your name, by the way? Oh, my name is Brennan. Brennan? Yeah. So, what do you think of your new car? I think it's fantastic. Are you I, taking it home today? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> that would be the dream. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. That's I just, awesome. like, I don't know, it just feels so comfortable. It's kind of overwhelming just because I'm so used to driving my car that yeah. it doesn't have as much technology as this does. So there's so much I can look at. That's fair. I wish I could turn it on for you properly. It would go for a drive, but yeah. I think they'd shout at us. <laughs> I, have, I have one button on my steering wheel. So oh, all, all of oh this my is gosh. Wait, I need to show you stuff. Okay, wait. <laughs> we'll say bye. Bye. You are a solo student and your husband is involved with electric vehicles? My husband is very interested in electric vehicles. So he grew up racing dirt carts. Racing and cars is pretty much his life. He um, went to school for a bachelor's in aerospace engineering and a master's in mechanical. And he is definitely someone who sees um, a vision for EV and wants to be instrumental in helping the industry flourish. That's awesome. Yeah. So he's not here today. So you he is not. I am. Yes. <laughs> I've already taken a couple pictures in the driver's seat. I already told him that he like totally missed out. <laughs> But so, you're, a, so you're a solar student. Yes. What, so, what's that? So I am a graduate student at Arizona State University. Um, I am working to obtain a doctorate in material science and engineering. Awesome. And the focus of my research is actually on solar recycling. So as we work to um, deploy solar all over the country and really all over the world, we need a solution to um, handle all of the solar waste. Solar panels are only going to last about 20 to 30 years. There's a lot of physics that goes into why that is. Um, and we really need a sustainable and a green solution to handling that technology so that we're not just dumping tons of waste into the landfill. There's a ton of precious metals in solar. Um, specifically, silver is used on all of the front contacts, and it would be such a waste to just throw all of that silver into the landfill. So I am one of really like a few groups in the world. My professor, um, Dr. Tao, uh, and I, and our, our research group, we're working to develop the technology to recover all of that, all of those metals and all of that waste and reuse them. That is awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing and thank you for going into this industry and, and making change. I think the world's going to be better with you guys doing this. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for bringing your car. Yeah, this is so pleasure. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to see one in person. <laughs>
Lincoln's modeling mm. asked me, oh, can, she liked my presentation. She's like, can you do one of those here? You know, and I said, well, I'll bring, I'll bring a piece of fabric. So now I got to find people who want to do it. <laughs> oh, I will totally do it. I'm going to do this. Yeah, we're going to oh, lay out a light sensitive exciting. sheet and then put stuff on it. You can put your body on it. <gasps> Oh, I'll put my leg on it. Totally. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and then we'll, you gotta lay, you gotta be in, it needs five to ten minutes. That's totally fine. And then I grab it and I gotta wash it in the hotel. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. We'll definitely do it. Can I just leave this right here? Yeah, for sure. Advertise it? Yeah, you're part of the whole display. So, good to be here. I'm Carol Flukiger and I'm an artist based in Le uh, Lubbock, Texas. And we're gonna make a large solar print, which is like a photogram. I've got a light sensitive sheet coated with cyanotype. That's the same as commonly known as a blueprint chemical. And we will place objects onto that sheet and expose it for five to 10 minutes to the sunlight. Let the sun do its big sunburn power thing. And then I'll rinse it in a washing machine and voila, we'll have a big photogram. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to join in this with you. Yeah. Are you guys I'm excited. <laughs> Wait, let me get totally ready. Okay. Dark. Guys, this is my dark room and I gotta find my tag. Oh, and you gotta put your glasses on, right? Put your glasses on, yeah, and your bracelet, uh, Vic. Alright. My glasses are yours. Uh, either. Do yours. Do you, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I think this is a very nice moment getting to sit on the lawn with you guys. Hmm. All done and leaving with a solar oven and a couple pots. Good to go. Hey. 